In this video, we'll learn how to make cool inverted borders and custom shapes using CSS. Instead of adding a normal border around an element, we'll cut shapes inside the element to create a unique style. We won't need any complicated image editing. We'll do it with just a few lines of CSS. We'll use the clip path property and its path function to do this. Let's get started. First, in the HTML file, we'll create a container and a card element. Then, we'll link our CSS file and add some basic styles. After that, we'll style the card by setting its position to relative, give it a height of 200 pixels, a width of 150 pixels, and make its background a bit transparent. We'll work in a 2D space where the width is 150 pixels and the height is 200 pixels. This lets us place points using X values from 0 to 150 and Y values from 0 to 200. Next, we'll add the magic using the clip path property with the path function to create this shape. Here's how it works. M moves to the starting point. Z closes the path by connecting back to the start. For a deeper understanding, check out our CSS Clip Path video, especially Chapter 5, link in the description. Let's create the shape step by step. We'll start at point 10, 20, with 10 on the x-axis and 20 on the y-axis. We use the letter L to draw straight lines to the next points. The second point is at 60, 20, then 70, 10, and so on. Finally, Z connects back to the starting point. All points are connected with straight lines using L. The shape looks close to the original design, but it has no curves. To add curves, use A for an elliptical arc, which draws a smooth curve between two points. For example, to create a curve between 60, 20, and 70, 10, use A instead of L, a 10, 10, 0, 0, 0. Similarly, to create a curve between 70, 10, and 80, 0, use a 10, 10, 0, 0, 1. Repeat this wherever you want curves, and that's how you can create complex shapes with both curves and straight edges using the CSS clip path. Finally, set overflow hidden to keep everything clean inside the shape. Now, let's add an image inside our custom shape. In the HTML, add an IMG tag inside the card element. In the CSS, set the image's width and height to 100% and use Object Fit Cover to make it fill the card perfectly. Now, the image fits seamlessly inside the shape. To add some space within the card, apply a padding of 10 pixels. Alternatively, you can set the image as a background instead. For this Use Background with Image Path, add Background Color with Transparency, use Background Repeat No Repeat, Background Position Center, Background Size Cover, and Object Fit Cover. This way, image fit nicely as a background for your custom card shape. Next, let's add a title element to the card. For styling, set its position to absolute and use top zero and left zero to position it in the top left corner. Give it a height of 17 pixels and a width of 67 pixels. Add a background color to make it stand out. To create a custom shape, use the clip path property with the inset function. Finally, we'll style the text with font size 12 pixels, font weight bold, and color white. To center the text inside the shape, use Display Flex, Align Items Center, and Justify Content Center, and add a little padding with 3 pixels. This creates a clean and stylish label at the top of the card. If you want to create more info cards like this, just add more HTML structure and apply styles for their respective classes. And remember, you can create any shape using CSS Clip Path. If you want to learn how to create custom shapes using CSS Clip Path, watch this video now.